Check out these 20 best PlayStation 5 open world games so far. Starting off at 20 is Away, the survival series. Make your very own nature documentary in this narrative-driven adventure where you play as a little sugar glider. Interact with nature and befriend the non-aggressive wildlife. Explore the ins and outs of the local flora and fauna in its miniature open-world-like format. 19th on the list is Cyberpunk 2077. After fumbling the launch, CDPR finally fixed most of the issues that almost made the game unplayable. As of now, you can play it without being worried about game-breaking bugs. Night City is still one of the most impressive futuristic open worlds out there, and if you care about that, you might want to check this out. For 18th place, we have Watch Dogs Legion. Ubisoft's very own cyberpunk, but with less neon and more hacking. It's not the strongest Watch Dogs in terms of story, but the world is rife with detail. Legion's recreation of London turns it into a bustling high-tech metropolis where crime and capitalism clash together. Coming at 17th, we have The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Anniversary Edition. Your little fantasy playground is still around. The world of Skyrim is full of adventure and secrets, as well as a whole lot of screaming. Make your own story as you explore decrepit tombs, massive strongholds, and misty mountains. It's the right mix of janky and fun at the same time. Here in 16th, we have Riders Republic. Ubisoft's extreme sports racing game that's also open world. It's their own version of Forza where everyone can gather in a huge social space to take on challenges together, travel to snowy mountains and canyons and more with a variety of activities to choose from. The 15th entry is Ghostwire Tokyo. Exercise demons with style in a neon-soaked Tokyo where everyone mysteriously vanished. Much like Watch Dog Legion's recreation of London, Ghostwire pretty much captures Tokyo in its entirety. From the jam-packed cityscapes to its narrow alleys, except it's filled with Japanese yokai everywhere. 14th in the list is Farming Simulator 22. When it comes to farming simulators, there's really nothing to expect aside from farming. Its open-world aspect is more like an open farm where you expand your empire of livestock and crops. It's certainly bigger and better this time around, though. 13th place is Dying Light 2 Stay Human. The parkour is what makes it Dying Light. Without it, it's basically just any other zombie game, taking place in a fictional place in Europe. Its world is a massive urban city. This sequel increased its open-world scale tenfold, with more verticality and parkouring to do. At 12th place, we have Far Cry 6. The latest from Ubisoft's open-world FPS takes you to a fictional tropical island led by a tyrant. Like previous entries of the series, you can do anything you want as long as you have a gun in hand. You can even join cockfighting tournaments if you want to. Coming in at 11th is Subnautica Below Zero. The sequel to Unknown World's underwater survival game. It's technically horror for anyone with an underwater phobia. If you don't fear the depths, Below Zero is an open ocean where everything under the watery abyss is your playground. Just watch out for the big ones. Halfway at 10th place, we have Immortals Phoenix Rising. Another open world from Ubisoft, and it's their freshest IP in a long time. It takes place in a post-apocalyptic world full of fallen Greek mythology icons. It's Ubisoft's attempt at their own version of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Perfect for anyone who wants a somewhat similar experience. Rank 9th, we have LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. All nine major chapters of Disney's space opera are yours for the taking. Explore popular locations straight from the Star Wars universe in LEGO form. It has everything you need in a Star Wars game from lightsaber battles, pod racing, and ship battles. For 8th place, we have Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales. A standalone chapter taking place in the same world as Insomniac Spider-Man. This is Miles Morales' journey to becoming a hero. Much like the original Spider-Man, it's a recreation of New York, and you can swing and climb atop skyscrapers. You even get to visit iconic Marvel locations. At 7th, it's Kina, Bridge of Spirits. Ember Lab's indie project doesn't feel indie at all. It fits the signature Sony IP when it comes to its cinematic value and gameplay. Use a variety of magic and light combat to guide Kina as she saves her fantastical forest from a growing corruption. Sixth in the list is Assassin's Creed Valhalla. 
Enter Odin's Realm in Valhalla. This Viking setting offers the most robust RPG gameplay from the series. From sieging castles to epic ship battles, there's always a lot of stuff to do in an Assassin's Creed game, especially with their huge maps full of icons and quest markers. But this is the biggest Assassin's Creed game to date. For the fifth entry, we have Control Ultimate Edition. Remedy Sci-Fi Shooter is a homage to the internet's brilliant SCP content. Control's singular location takes place inside the oldest house, an ever-changing building and a brutalist architect's wet dream. We've through office cubicles and shifting walls and cleansed the building from an alien threat. At fourth, we have Death Stranding Director's Cut. Hideo Kojima's definitive edition of his latest project, Death Stranding is the ultimate open-world experience where the terrain is a character in itself. The post-apocalyptic US looks gorgeous in Guerrilla's proprietary Decima engine. In a world where your Norman Reedus and hope is seemingly lost, being a futuristic delivery man reveals an unexpectedly emotional journey. Third place is Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut. Jin Sakai's quest in this Mongolian-infested Japan is made even better for the PS5. This director's cut includes a ton of new features, including better visuals and a story expansion taking place in Iki Island. Close by at second place is Horizon Forbidden West. Aloy's brand new journey takes her to the West Coast. Forbidden West's impressive open world looks gorgeous on PlayStation 5. It makes good use of their flagship console's hardware, giving our eyes a treat whether on land, sea, or air. And the best PlayStation 5 open world game this year is none other than Elden Ring. From Software's latest easily takes the crown, Elden Ring's dark fantasy world is expertly designed to make your jaw drop with amazement or frustrate you with its challenging boss fights. It's a culmination of all things great about From Soft games, and it's the strongest game of the year contender so far. For more PS5 open world games, visit our website and don't forget to download our app available on Android and iOS. Link in the description box below.